Hi, I'm Allison. I'm 15 and I am a part of Generation Z. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Gen Zers are always on their phones and feel the need to document every minute of their day. They have a sense of entitlement and unrealistic expectations. They're lazy and avoid hard work. Believe it or not, some version of this has been echoed by parents for generations. Just like one famous father who said, the young have strong passions and tend to gratify them indiscriminately. They have an absence of self-control. They think they know everything and are always quite sure about it. That father was Aristotle, and he made his complaint over 2,300 years ago. Yes, he was talking about the awful, no good, very bad younger generation of their time. Can you imagine a caveman complaining about the youth of his time for using a stone axe rather than just a good old rock to hunt the mammoth? Or what about the long-haired youth during the Beatles revolution? Parents were convinced the world was coming to an end and the youth were lost beyond all hope. Don't even get me started on those millennials. These intergenerational battles have been going on for thousands of years. And today, I want you to join me in declaring a truce. Every generation is different in some way, and it's those differences that make us unique and sometimes suspicious to older generations. I want to tell you what it's like growing up Gen Z, how we are different from other generations, and why that's OK. Trust me, I have a lot of experience. I've been doing this for 15 years. Every person in this room was born into a rapidly changing world. But the changes we've experienced are different. Consider that millennials don't know a world without the internet, Gen X doesn't know a world without television, and boomers don't know a world without cars. Just like Gen Z doesn't know a world without technology and social media at our fingertips. We've never experienced a life where we didn't instantly have access to anyone, anywhere, at any time. We are the first generation to truly grow up in two worlds, both physical and digital, from day one. Every generation dreams, but how innovative those dreams can be depends on our experiences. Our ability to dream is shaped by what we believe is possible. And in that sense, there has never been a generation better equipped to make giant technological leaps than ours. We are the future doctors, policymakers, scientists, and soldiers. I want to talk to you about why we are the way we are and three values that are important to our generation purpose, collaboration, and mentorship. When I talk about purpose, I'm talking about why we get up in the morning, the thing that motivates us. Growing up with immediate access to information has made us more aware of global issues. That's why purpose is so important to us. For me, I want to continue contributing to youth cancer prevention, research, and advocacy. And I am young so I know that my purpose might change. Might get more general or more specific, but it's not what my purpose is, but that I have it. And the research about what Gen Z wants in the workplace mirrors my own experience. LinkedIn's most recent workforce confidence survey shows us that a staggering 80% of Gen Zers want to feel like their work is an extension of their interests and their values. We want our work to feel like it means something, like it has purpose. We grew up acutely aware from the devices firmly attached to our hands about the many issues that cause human suffering. That people continue dying of preventable causes, that they continue experiencing labor inequalities. And despite the fact that everybody is well aware of these issues, the solutions 
are stifled. This inaction tends to make us cynical because we're watching. Older generations aren't the only ones who experience the good and the bad, we do too. We're more aware from a younger age and we have opinions about what we've witnessed. This makes us wary of transactional workplaces where you buy our time and expertise and in exchange you give us money. We want to grow. We want to collaborate. We've been collaborating our entire lives through technology. And what's more, after missing our friends and social interactions during the pandemic, we appreciate collaborating face to face even more. After missing months of in-person classroom time, we spent more time with our parents and grandparents and generations before us. On Zoom, crowded classrooms were magically muted with the push of a button, focusing all attention on the teacher. That's just how we grew up. So when we enter the workforce, what we really want is not a supervisor checking up on us to make sure we're doing our work correctly, ensuring a smooth transaction. What we respond to best is a mentor who wants to help us be better than we are. Someone who problem solves alongside us rather than looking over our shoulders. If you know a Gen Zer, don't dismiss them. Engage with them. Don't talk at them, speak with them. Because for our entire lives, we've engaged digitally in collaborative communication, giving our opinions freely. We perform best when we are allowed to contribute be heard, valued as a member of a community. Workplaces that have figured out the secret will outperform all competitors. But I know we have work to do. Just like every generation before us, there's some truth in what older generations say about us. Yes, some of us are lazy. Yes, some of us are entitled. Yes, we do like our phones and we know that we need to put them down sometimes. But so many of us are innovative, hardworking, and smart. We're still growing up and figuring life out. Remember that every generation has decisively and emphatically concluded that the next generation would bring about the apocalyptic end of humankind. So let's declare a truce. Let's think better of each other, because although we all live in this world, we've experienced it differently. We know things that you don't, and you know things that we need to learn. So, the next time you're tempted to complain about the youth of today, just remember the last time you needed to fix the background of your Zoom call and ask one of us for help. You're welcome, and thank you.